14 ounces of artichoke hearts, 10 ounces of chopped spinach, a third of a cup of sour cream, quarter of a cup of mayo, quarter of a cup of cream cheese. We're using about half a cup of grated Romano cheese, half a tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of minced onions, and about a tablespoon of salt and pepper, but we will do that to our liking. So I already put the 10 ounces of spinach in here, and I drained the artichoke hearts. So I'm just gonna throw them in there. I'm gonna give them a good mash in. This thing we're gonna do is put our onions in. We take our garlic and put it in. Take our cayenne pepper. Take our paprika. We're gonna add our cream cheese now, that's at room temperature, into the mix. Make sure we get the sides as well. Everything together. We're going to take our mayo, throw it in. And last but not least, our sour cream. That's all mixed in there together. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper. Now that is a good mix right there. Looking good. Mmm. Man, it tastes good already. So before we put our spinach artichoke dip into the pan for cooking, I'm going to spray it down a little bit. Just gonna put it in the pan. Flatten it out a little bit, like so. Hmm. Yeah. Now we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna put this into the oven now for about 25 minutes at 350. At this point, it's been 20 minutes. It's time to put the Romano cheese onto the spinach artichoke dip and then put it back into the oven at the same temperature for another five minutes until the cheese melts. So we're sitting right now at 25 minutes and just some change. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. What do you think of that? All right, let's take it over to the counter. So let's take a look at this in a different light. This is done. Cheese is melted. Let's try it out with a cracker, like we were saying. Put on there. Oh, look at, you can see the steam coming out. This is really warm. Let's try it out. Mm. That is really good. Super simple, takes you about 35 minutes to put together, but I guarantee people are gonna love it, and you're gonna like it, and people are not even going to know that this is low carb. This thing is full of flavor.